I do not own the rights to this music. Hello and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School lesson for Sunday, June 13th, 2021. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson Series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We're discussing Jesus Teaches About Faith as the title of the Summer Lesson series and is categorized into three units or groups of lessons. In unit one, we're talking about Jesus Talks About Faith or Jesus Teaches About Faith. Unit two, we'll talk about faith and salvation. And in unit three, we'll talk about faith gives us hope. Jesus Teaches About Faith addresses, lesson series addresses faith as the primary source of our hope and confidence. The title of our second lesson in the Unit 1 Summer Lesson Series is titled Come in the Storm from Matthew 8, 26. And Matthew 8, chapter, verse 26 reads, Jesus saith unto them, Why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And in this lesson, we're talking about faith. Now, the background to today's lesson is come in the storm from Matthew 8 and 26. The background is Jesus' ministry after the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus descends from the mountain after preaching the Sermon on the Mount. And Matthew then documents four instances of healing miracles performed by Jesus after the Sermon on the Mount that demonstrated Jesus' power and authority over human beings, disease, and the forces of nature, which brings us to today's lesson, which is a calming of the storm, which is a rebuke or calming of nature. There are two summary lesson points for today. The first storm has come from Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 through 25. And the second summary point is see Christ. And that's from Matthew 8, 26 through 27. So storms will come, but we should see Christ in the middle of those storms. The passages for the lesson today revolve around the key words of afraid, faith, and storm. Now, afraid is a feeling of fear or anxiety. It's a frightened or scared state. A faith is a complete trust, assurance, or confidence. And in this case, it is confidence and assurance in Jesus Christ. And storm is a violent, unpredictable disturbance, usually with strong winds or precipitations. 
Now, in our lives, storms are unpredictable events in our life with unintended consequences that make us nervous, fearful, and afraid. Now, in Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 to 25, and in these passages, Jesus and the disciples board a boat for a trip to the other side of a lake to get away from the crowds that are following Jesus after his sermon on the map. And a sudden storm interrupts the trip. Now, in the midst of this violent storm, the disciples seek Jesus in a panic that they will perish. And the unexpected events or storms happen in our life. We have to approach these storms in our life with faith in God and not panic. We have to trust that God will calm the storm and guide us through the storms in our life. So the storms will come according to Matthews. It's how we respond to the storms. We should see Christ from Matthew 8, 26 through 27. And in these passages, Jesus asked the disciples, why are they afraid? Jesus questioned them, why are you afraid? And Jesus stresses the importance of faith in his response. Jesus admonishes the disciples for their attitude of fear as opposed to faith and confidence in Jesus to control the situation, and in this case, to calm the storm. Jesus admonishes the disciples for their attitude in seeking him in a fearful or afraid state. Afraid is a fearful response to the storm. The disciples saw Jesus from an attitude of fear that they were going to perish versus faith that Jesus was in control as evidenced by Jesus' peaceful sleep during the storm. We should seek Jesus in the storms of life, but not in a panic mode. We should trust God in faith to guide us through the storms in our life. Thank you. This is Brother Ron with the Sunday School Summary for Sunday, June 13th, 2021. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week. And we hope to see you next Sunday for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.